Hello folks, welcome back to Fallout 76, and we're carrying on with Sophia's story this time, just like the last couple of videos, and uh, we left off here to go retrieve the medical records from where exactly, actually? Oh, wow, all the way out here are Braxton's quality medical supplies. I would have thought they'd be at a hospital or something. Okay, changed up uh, a few of my weapons from last time. Well, I mean, kind of, I, they're still heavy weapons. I uh, pulled out my ultrasight. Gatling laser and the Browning 50, one of which I think I forgot to repair, but I think hopefully we'll be okay. All right, let me just disable these. This time I haven't actually, you know, done a bunch of grinding in between episodes. I've just done a few daily things, nothing much. More or less where we left off last time. what they're shooting at. Oh, I did change my power armor also. What the hell? What are y'all shooting at? Ah. Uh, yeah, so that was easy. Like I said last episode, a lot of these, uh, objectives are just like, go away, go grab something, it'll only take a minute. Spend more time on loading screens than actually doing the objective, and then return. I am hoping once we fill up this bar for assisting her, that we'll do something more interesting than fetch quests. I am enjoying the quests, I mean, it's an interesting side story, and she's an interesting character. And, uh, like I've said before, I really love the fact that we get to come in contact with some of these pre-war you know, organizations. She's from the USSA and stuff. Tell me you're not still chasing ghosts. <laughs> this Emerson, guy. What did you know about Dr. Bernard's deep sleeper pods? <sighs> I knew some of it. I was just a manager. I didn't really read the technical mumbo jumbo. Guess I better become part of this conversation. I really don't like this guy. You're back. Just in time for the three of us to discuss what we found. Tell me you're not still chasing ghosts. Emerson. He's just repeating this stuff. What did you know? <sighs> Here's your medical records, Commander Daguerre. Transfer them to my console, please. What were they doing? Emerson. Tell me. It was a biomedical thing with Arctos. I don't know the details anymore. It was literally decades ago. You get that, right? It wasn't decades ago to me. Emerson, you need to make things right. You owe Sophia that much, at least. You're right. Okay, listen. Arctos Pharma and the USSA made a deal to create a serum. Serum K, maybe. It was going to help with the Deep Sleep Project. That's all I know. I wish I could do more. Okay. That's enough for now. <sighs> Emerson, could you please leave? Maybe... try to remember something helpful for next time. This is all reason to her, Emerson. You have to care. I do. I... I actually really do care. I didn't want her to stay up there so long. <sighs> okay. Get out of my camp. We just have to move forward here. <laughs> That's what the Mistress of Mystery would do when she was betrayed. If this stuff caused my headaches, then maybe they made an antidote? It's to start anyway. Did you look at your medical records? Yes. I'm not a doctor, but it seems like they used the serum to reduce my brain's higher functions. So something else could... I don't know what. I signed up for space. Not abuse. You know Emerson well. Is he lying? I can tell he feels guilty about something. I'm not sure if he's lying boldly or by omission, though. 
Just send me a location. I'll find the contract. While I was looking for the Deep Sleeper pod documents a while ago, I found another location that might have stuff like old USSA contracts. Uh, does it just me or did none of these dialogue options uh, coincide with what you just said? Uh, why would Emerson want you to let it go? Wait, oh, I'm scrolled down. I just no noticed that. <laughs> I'm not used to modern Fallout games past New Vegas having so many options I have to scroll. Um, I'm glad that staying at my camp is helpful to you. I am certainly glad you're here. It is. It really is. I know I've said it before, but thanks for letting me, uh, crash here. <laughs> uh, why would Emerson want you to let it go? He has to be hiding something. I need to know what happened. I need to know what he knows. Okay, I'll be back later, Commander. Roger. Stay safe out there. Retrieve the government contract. Would y'all please stop giving me weapons? Let me guess. Oh, man. Really? The Capitol building? You know, I, I kind of wish they would have added something like a USSA facility. Because they're just sending us to... I mean, I guess government contract makes sense that it's out in the Capitol building. But some of these other places we've been sent to, they're just random locations for the most part. Maybe there is something like that at the end of the rainbow. What I'm really looking for is some interesting locations that I haven't been to yet. Now, of course, maybe they didn't add, you know, entirely new locations for this side quest. But, uh, well, I mean, they at least added a few. Modified a few. With the spaceships. Anyways, the point is, I hope we get to something that uh, takes me longer than, you know, go inside, grab the thing, leave. I was just here not too long ago at the DMV doing a, a miserable section of the Brotherhood of Steel's quests. I can get this 50 to repair itself. Love this thing. The only thing I don't love about it is the uh, holding animation when you have power armor. It tends to take up a bunch of your screen. I'm going to see iron slide. Trying to remember where the stairs are. Oh yeah, wasteland stairs. Where the? No, still above me. Always fun coming here. Oh, here we go. Of course, it was on the other side of the building. Always is. Let's just hurry up over there. Bring it and get a trail of ghouls. Yeah. There it is, once again. Okay. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Figures. He wasn't just a manager. He made the offer himself. Damn him. Maybe I can find out more about this serum, though. In the meantime, let's just eliminate that rogue USSA robot that's lurking around monitoring us. It gives me the creeps. Why aren't these robots just coming right to you? 
think they're being intercepted. I think they get close, and then something updates their algorithm, and they leave. But who is doing that, or why? I don't have enough data to make a hypothesis. What's your end goal here? <sighs> That's a big question. I guess... I just want to know why. So I can move on in this weird new world. Some closure, you know? Then I can start to figure this place out. I can start fresh. Maybe I can help you out for a change. Right, I'll take care of this robot. No problem. Back in my college days, we used to watch robots fight in the basement of the science building. We used to joke about how scary that would be. You know, if they ever came after us all, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks. In your records, it mentions Serum Z. You need a link. Agreed. It seems like some sort of experimental biomedical formula. It might be worth checking records about Arctos. Maybe they knew something? Do you remember the experiments in your patient records? No. Nothing. Looks like it was going on for... years. How? How could this have happened without me knowing anything? The year or two prior to going on the mission, we just tried to relax. They gave us meditation tapes so we could get adjusted to the silence of space. Uh, some had white noise, others had thunderstorm sounds. I listened to whale songs. Clearly, whale songs were more effective than I thought. Did you notice any more headaches when that last robot went down? You know, I did. What does that mean? I wonder. It was a sudden spike right behind the eyes. Sophia, when everything is over, what do we do? <laughs> Strange. I haven't even really considered it much. I just... I can't imagine anything beyond these headaches right now. And finding out what they did. But... I guess... Well... I hope whatever happens, we're still together. We make a good team, friend. Off to kill another robot. Sounds good. I actually don't know if this was in the main game, this new Appalachian Rail, oh, new Appalachian Rail Yard. Oh, wait a minute, got another one? Oh, it's the same one. And I also got this location just fairly recently. Um, but yeah, I'd never been there before. I'm not sure if they were in the game prior to Wastelanders or if they're new. There's nothing really interesting there. One's just a nuclear disposal site and the other one's a train yard. But, figured I'd mention that. It's funny, after all the time, I thought I'd had all the map markers, and I still come across things now and then. It's really rare now. I think there's maybe one location I know of that I don't have, and it's just a watchtower in the forest. I know they added, you know, new locations, but uh, some of them they just altered to uh, accommodate, like, the Blood Eagles or the Mothman cult. I have a disease, of course. I still find it kind of absurd that you can catch diseases when you have power armor on. But uh, I guess, you know, they wanted everyone to be able to get them. It's not exactly hard to get power armor in this game. And this time it's a Protectron, interesting. algorithm update. You know, I, I came here, but I didn't really go around through the... I didn't realize how much train wreckage there was here. Huh. Anyways. I was wondering if you were coming same as the other USSA robots. Right before you arrived, it sent out two signal bursts. One to a robo-brain, and another to... something else. 
Are you with me on this, my friend? Can I count on you? Of course I'm here for you, Commander. I promise. Please, call me Sophia. And thank you. It means so much after... After everything else has been changed. You've been here for me the whole time. I couldn't have done any of this without you, you know. And that means a lot to me. Locating that medical cache that has that serum wasn't actually as hard as I thought it might be. Hopefully it'll be a milk run to pick up, too. I suddenly realized that the expression milk run might not have much of a meaning in this apocalyptic world. Yeah, you know, since everything is dangerous now. Huh. I'll find the serum. Won't take long. It's probably decades old and unusable by now, but it might tell us something. I'm not a chemist, though. Maybe... I don't know. It feels good to have you here in my home. Really? I was worried for a bit that you might be, uh... unenthused about taking care of some random stray. Even though my options were clearly heavily limited by the, uh... entire world situation. <laughs> The only decent thing so far has been meeting you. Well, listen here, Sophia. There was <laughs> there was a period of a long time where we had no NPCs in this game, and it was very lonely sometimes. What's with these USSA robots? Shouldn't they be attacking you? I hear you. I thought they were coming after me, but I'm not sure. Did I read that right? Maybe they have other motives, too. Safer to just deal with them, though. You able to get any rest these days? <sighs> Not much. Headaches still come and go. And it's hard to sleep through those. I'd give anything for these headaches to end. Alright. Affirmative. Out. Okay, retrieve serum Z. Oh boy, West Tech. Hooray! <laughs> I actually come here fairly often if I need to like level up or something, because it's uh there's lots of super mutants here, and I actually don't mind fighting them because they're, with the kind of weapons I use, they're big, obviously, so they're not hard to hit. They're, they do uh, jack you up if you're not careful, keep an eye on your health, but they're much better for me to fight than things like Scorched or Robots, just because I have heavy weapons that aren't that accurate, so I just can, you know, grind through them. The super mutants and the mole rats, or not the mole rats, the mole miners, I tend to go wipe out a few camps of them if I need a bunch of XP all at once. Reload this thing. Full fusion core. Alright, where's the guy with the bomb? The good thing about this is it's a, it's more accurate than that plasma gatling. Wow, I got him without him exploding this time. This is going to be a bit of a grind. Always is. I remember my first time coming through here. It was a long time ago in the original series, and I was very low on ammo. And so I, I basically hacked my way th through them with a uh, ski sword, that black diamond weapon. It took forever. Now that I'm pretty stable with my ammo and stuff, those perks, especially that legendary perk, 
are invaluable for for having enough ammo all the time. Uh, since then, I don't really use melee much anymore unless they're really super low level compared to me. And uh, I'm trying to save ammo, but we have to go in before the door closes. Not worried about looting him right now. thing is kind of mesmerizing to shoot. I've said that about a few of the heavy weapons, but it's, it's true. For some reason, this one and the Gatling gun. I kind of lose focus after I do a long enough burst with them for some reason. I've kind of got my build uh, and all the, the cards I switch between at this point. So for the most part, leveling up... Let's play little new kind of consists of me just uh, picking a random perk card and then scrapping it to uh, put towards my legendary cards. It's not real eventful right now. I imagine if I carry on enough in the future I'll get more cards so I can set up like a different build, maybe non-heavy weapons and power armor, just for if I get bored. But really, I think I found what I really like with this character. I have everything I need for all different kinds of crafting, with weapons, armor, uh, settlement stuff. I've got all my hacking and lockpicking perks that I can swap around. Got it kind of my, kind of how I like it. So that being said, let's just pick a random and scrap it. Okay, you can see where I'm at with my legendary. I put legendary charisma uh, so I could, you know, I I've moved some points around in the past, but uh, this is the one I want to get maxed out. Need 150 legendary points. Legendary perk points, whatever you want to call it. So many different kinds of currency in this game now. Legendary script, legendary perk points, uh, treasury notes, bullion, atoms. Say there's a legendary, I want his thing. What's that? And eh, not much. Alright. Anyways. Oh, whoops. I'd, they don't usually show up in the lobby. Alright. Get out of here. Oh no, not again. Floating in space forever. I really need a different doorway, don't I? Why? Oh, I got by. Hey, friend. Welcome back. Hi, oh, you want to not move around? Hey there. Look who decided to grace us with this. I brought another emergence kit. It's well past its expiration, but... Well, everything is. It should be fine. Thanks, Emerson. I appreciate it. I do. We have some questions for you, though. We know you made the deal with Arctos Pharma. Why? It was my job. Look at this guy. <laughs> I was told to do that. What you I, doing I there, don't buddy? Remember the reasons why anymore? What does it matter anyway? It's done. It's over. Is the serum causing these headaches? I honestly am not sure. It's possible. When we first used the serum on Robo Brains, some of them had terrible hostile outbursts. Most of those Robo Brains were put down, but 
You should adjust your scanner to make sure you pick them up, too. Just in case. Why is that banging in the background? Got, oh, we've got a workbench. Um, enough, Emerson. Why should we trust anything you say? I'm a different man now. It's been decades. I've been eating out of trash cans. I barely remember anything from back then. I have been trying to help when and where I can. I promise I have. I've diverted the robots when possible. I just couldn't destroy them myself. I came to Appalachia because I knew this ship was running out of fuel and I knew its autopilot would steer it here. Why can't you just tell me everything that happened? Because I have to finish my job too. I had one more task to do here in Appalachia and I'm close. Let me clean up my own messes. I have to go. I'll drop off some more emergence kits soon. Just please stop looking into this. There's a robo brain on your trail. Focus on that. Hmm. Yeah. How? How could they do this? Why didn't they just ask? I probably would have agreed. Damn it. Part of me wonders if Emerson told us about this robo brain so he would have more time to do whatever he's up to. Eh, it was rather easy to pinpoint it once I realized I had to recompute the signals for things that had some organic parts. We need more information about Emerson. Agreed. I followed Emerson's signal when he left, and he had quite a strange route. Acted like he was being followed, but I don't think he was. He went to a few locations, maybe collecting supplies? I I'm not sure. One of them had some high security holotapes. I'll clean up the signal for you to track by the time you're back. Got it. Kill the robot. Again. I'll be right here then. Don't worry. You don't miss that much while you're out. Traders stop by from time to time. A couple other random people, but it's pretty quiet. Yeah, random people. Um, <laughs> if you're the mistress of mystery, then who am I? Hmm. You are a conundrum, my friend. I thought about the man-to-man, -man, but oh, there's something peculiar about you. Something delightfully unpredictable. Why did it do this again? Um, why would why would they develop this serum? It has to be a prototype for something bigger. That's all I can figure. I'm gonna need additional samples to learn more, though. Did you get any of their holotapes, games, or comics from traders? I thought about it a lot. For a while, I thought, what's the point of comics, of games? Seemed like such a distraction from the stress in my life, from finding out the truth, from fixing what was left. But I realized that it's not only a distraction. Enjoyment is a fundamental part of life, even a stressful life. And you know what? I am still stressed and trying to fix my life, but it's easier to remember why I care when I can still feel joy. If we're dressing up, I presume? Hmm, I like it. Well, of course. You're the inspector. I think that's obvious. I've seen how your mind works. They keep giving me different, uh, reactions for this. <laughs> Did you really think you weren't some form of grognak? I mean, you're kind of a monster. A very likable monster, mind you. Okay, <laughs> we finally exhausted that. That was interesting. I'll be back later. I hope you won't be gone for too long. Okay. I'm by Camp Venture. Okay, well, let's go to the treetops. As far as I remember, Camp Venture has the potential to get some Scorch Beasts around there. I'd really rather not fight them at the moment. Oh, there's a uh, cultist location out here I haven't picked up yet. Interesting. Let's stop by there. Really wish they would stop giving me combat armor. 
Hello. I really like the design they went with for the Mothman cult. But like I said, I don't like how chatty they are. It's really irritating to me. Moth home. Okay. Oh boy, look. That patented Bethesda loading. <laughs> I want to get up there. How do I get up there? Gotta love- there we go. Watch it phase into existence. These, uh, cultists are all gonna spawn all around me, aren't they? Well. Oh, hi, you're here. What are you doing here? I, I... Huh. Was there not something on that? Oh, hi there. We got some Mothman eggs. Gotta get those when you can find them. I think you can cook certain things out of them, which is kind of weird. <laughs> but nonetheless. Oh, hello. Okay. Well. So be it. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. When you killed that robo-brain, the scanner seemed to pick up on some high-security signals all around the area. Maybe it was somehow interfering with our scanner? That's my best guess. A lot of these are high-security signals, things related to the deep sleep projects. Ugh. <sighs> Other projects, too. Ones I don't know much about. From the signature of the signal here, it seems to be a classified meeting between top officials regarding the Deep Sleep Project. Can you stop by and pick it up? I figure it might give us some more leads, or a name, or anything. Get the top secret meeting notes. You got it. Yes, I suspect it's a holotape, but it isn't an unusual place. As if it was moved here to hide it, maybe. After all this is done, want to play some Red Menace? Oh, be still, my beating heart. That sounds like a dream come true, my dear friend. But also, you don't stand a chance. There's always a place for you here, Sophia. Thank you, my dear, kind friend. I've come to think of your place as my home. And I've come to think of you as more than a friend, too. Did the Robo Brain send a signal when it was destroyed? I thought maybe it was a corrupt command sent out to a source console somewhere. It was just red sunset, and that's it. There was something wrong with that Robo Brain. Not surprised. While you were there, I saw a bunch of blips for other USSA robo-brains that had been destroyed over the years. And there were a great many of them around some old USSA data facilities. Trying to get inside for some reason? I don't know. You think anyone else from the USSA is still around? Maybe. For all I know, there could be other astronauts stranded up there in other experiments. Or maybe some of them went to work for other programs and are trying to save what's left of the world. I wish I knew, my friend. I wish I knew. I would absolutely love to go digging around in a uh, for too long. in a USSA facility. But uh, we can keep hoping. One mystery always have to lead to another. Deep sleep I experiment. What oh. oh. Was. Flooded train yard. Okay, I haven't been out here in a while. Connections. A long time, actually. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think there's super mutants out there. Let's go to the station and we'll run down the tracks. I kind of did my exploration of Watoga in a single episode. That was really late in the original series. They didn't have the Watoga underground at that point. I really want to go down there, but I would. I'm trying to wait for a reason to go down there. Uh, I'm assuming because it's a new location, they would have added, you know, a quest bringing us down there. So I've been trying to hold off my curiosity. Well, here we are. 
nothing hostile yet. Which is kind of... Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Liberator. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay. Doctors, hello from Earth. The full board is here waiting for your reports. Dr. Carroll, can you begin? Phase two analysis. Subject Degueta is responding well. The sleeping pod is performing within all expected parameters. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, yes, the board has a question for you. How long can the subject remain in your device? I wouldn't expect much degradation to occur for at least a decade. has been made? Yes. I can determine that the connection has been made. The Athena unit has full access. Confirmed. Pathways are open. Connection is complete. Thank you. We have a question for Dr. Lee. I'm here. Sorry. Just had to fix a transmit refraction. Enough. Dr. Lee, how stable is the ship at its current position in orbit? Uh, fine? It's fine. It should probably last, uh, as long as she does, anyway. Probably. I, I mean, definitely. Perfect. Oh, is the ship's USSA VOT currently available and nearby? Affirmative. Pandora unit is ready for orders. Excellent. Pandora? Escort the doctors to their own personal deep sleep pods. You need to say the code, Rob. Your team made it. You should know that. <laughs> Red sunrise? Expulsion will begin in 30 seconds. Enter your assigned pod immediately. Wait, what? This isn't part of the experiment methodology. Well, also, we don't agree, right, doctors? You can't do this. Get a sleep pod is inside the main escape capsule. We need to get it out so we can get out of here. Come on, someone help me open this thing. The board is in violation of our contract. I, I want the USSA on the line right now. The USSA is well aware of the current status, Dr. Carroll. Thank you. Please cooperate now. Expulsion will begin in 30 seconds. Enter your assigned pod immediately. Blade electrified. Ten seconds. Get in! Get in quick! Phase three is now officially underway. Now, we just have to wait and see how Athena responds with three sources. Congratulations, everybody. Okay, uh, yeah, very, very sketchy. I knew from the moment I met uh, Emerson that something was wrong with him. But again, I could be wrong about the guy. Maybe he's trying to rectify his mistakes. I'm not going to count on it. <laughs> Seems like a complete scumbag. But we'll see. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm stuck on a endless loading screen. However, I was going to stop the episode as soon as we got back to my camp anyways. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish this up next time. It seems like we're drawing close to the conclusion now, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, that will do it for now, so I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.